Father God, as we, your people, gather here on this Sunday, we are once again just thrilled to be in your presence. We're thrilled that you have called us and driven us out of darkness and brought us to you. And the Lord, as we're gathered here today, that we are the people of the redeemed, done by your blood that was shed on the cross. We're so thankful, Lord, for the work that you're doing in our life, the work that you continue to do through this church, through the community, and Lord, that you're ever just reaching out and loving and causing us to become more like Jesus Christ. For all these things, Lord, we are always thankful. And we remember that story that Christ came to this earth and gave himself up for us, but we were yet sinners. And that God, when the time was right, he died on the cross and he rose again on that third day. Lord, the gift of the Holy Spirit is empowering us even here and now and has empowered your church for thousands of years. And your people of God know your presence because your spirit lives inside us. So God, once again, we are a people who are thankful. And this is our story, above all other stories, the story of our life. Lord, as we're here today, we do come to you and ask for prayer for many different things, many hurts in our community, many people going through struggles in life. Especially pray, Lord, for those who have lost loved ones. May you bring them comfort in all the ways that you can. Lord, may we do our part as well to reach out and to be there for those who, Lord, need a helping hand. God, we also lift up those who are hurting. We lift up those who are sick. We lift up those who have upcoming surgeries, those that are recovering from procedures. And all these things, Lord, may your miraculous work, may your healing work be done in each and every single life. God, we also lift up those that are just going through hard times, either financially, maybe they're going through times of drug addictions or just stuff going on in the house, Lord, or just arguments with relationships or just being apart from those who they love. We pray for each of these. Give them exactly what they need. And Lord, help them on their journey. As we hear God, we of course lift up those that come here today to seek your special touch. May both their praises and their prayers be answered here today. And Lord, may you be honored by all of this. God, we pray for those prayer concerns that come to you every week that we faithfully lift, faithfully lift up. Be with each and every heart and mind that we've prayed for, that we continue to pray for, and that we're persistent in bringing to your throne. Lord, because we know that you've called us to do such, lift up these burdens to you. God, we do pray for the world. We pray for peace to, to come. We pray, Lord, for the world's leaders to come together and find ways that all people everywhere could, Lord, to live life and have life abundantly. We pray, Lord, for just our nation to continue to, to choose good paths and to go on ways, Lord, that are not only pleasing to you, but life-giving to this world and to our country. We pray, Lord, for those, this church, this denomination, we pray for the church worldwide, for all the struggles that are going on, whether it be through persecutions around the world or whether it be through just all sorts of things under the sun. But we pray for your church to be strong in every single community where it is planted, and that, Lord, Jesus would be offered each and every place, in every tongue, in every tribe, in every nation. Finally, God, we pray for ourselves. May you continue to work in our hearts and minds, make us into the very image of Jesus Christ. That, Lord, we could be not only transformed for us, for our own life-giving, but for those around us. And that, Lord, we would be your hands and feet to truly reach this world. Finally, God, we pray that prayer that marks us as your followers. And so we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.